Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to use a potentiometer or a pot to control the flow of scrolling text on a standard 2x16 LCD. We know the LCD is limiting to only 16 characters on a line, but we're going to take that limitation to harness a scrolling effect at the same time. Control that speed for some dynamic scrolling as well. So my name's Andrew and let's scroll our way into this. Right before we jump into the wiring diagram, it's important to look at the Pico diagram for a couple of reasons. So the Pico has three ports that's dedicated to analog. In this case, we're going to use GP26, so it's going to be ADC0. And this is going to tell Pico that, hey, this is going to be an analog, you know, either input or output. All right, let's go ahead and transition into the wiring diagram. I try to color this accordingly. Red is power, black is ground, and then we're gonna have our GP pins. So when we look at the potentiometer, we're gonna see GP26 is, be, is gonna be connected. And then obviously our LCD, which is gonna be our SD and LCA at GP0 and GP1. So let's go ahead and go into the code itself. I am going to refresh my environment at the bottom right. We're going to see MicroPython Raspberry Pi Pico. Let's go ahead and do that. Before I start talking about the code, I'm just going to go ahead and run this. And essentially I have my potentiometer all the way scroll down to zero, two states. There's going to be a zero and a one. So right now we're using GP26 and here we can see that ADC. So this can be an analog and we're converting it equals one. So don't think about this as one divided by whatever value this is, the 65,000, it's really gonna be set to two buckets. So it always starts at zero. The higher the number, the more sensitive it is, but we all we care about is gonna be a high and a low. So there's gonna be a, a zero state and then a one state. Uh, zero is gonna be our slow speed, one is gonna be our fast speed. Next, we're gonna have our Rambo Pi static line. This can be on line one. So this is going to be less than 16 characters. I spaced it nicely. It's not going to do anything. I'm going to have a next variable that's really going to say, hey, whatever space you have, we're going to multiply it by the amount of characters we have. In my case, I have a 2x16 LCD that you see. So that means there's 16 characters and there's only two lines. When we look at my string, this is way more than 16 characters. So this is going to be the fun part. I'm setting my scroll speed to round to zero. So all I care about is a state of zero or one. Right now, this is at zero, but I'm gonna go ahead and increase that. And what we're gonna see is it goes through this full iteration first, it completes it. It's saying, hey, anything within the string, we're gonna do this 16 times on the second line every 125 seconds, and we're gonna clear out line two. If you don't have this last year, you're going to, you're going to constantly see the repeating characters that don't ever clear. All right, guys, I hope you found this useful, especially extending the life of your small LCD as I did. And if you have any questions or comments, just drop it in the conversation below and let's talk about it. My name's Andrew and I'll see you at the next video.